Here's my first big question. If you build a car to tackle terrain like this, can it still be a proper Lambo? Well, the Euros certainly looks like a jacked-up supercar. With its swivel-eyed styling, it appears to be every inch a Lamborghini. What is it? Well, it does naught to sixty in three point six seconds. And it has a top speed of 189. So it has the performance you'd expect. But there's other stuff you wouldn't expect. This is the first Lamborghini to use turbocharging and the first to have an automatic gearbox. And what that combination means is there's a very slight and rather un-Lamborghini-ish gap between putting your foot down and it getting going. And when it does get going, there are no screaming histrionics. Sure, there's a bit of popping and banging from the back. But you can't hear that inside where everything is muted and refined. Perhaps that's why all the writing down here is in Latin. This is a Lamborghini for emeritus professors. <laughs> I can see the Pope in one of these. So, it's quiet and a bit hesitant. And it has snazzy diffs and a clever traction control system. And the biggest carbon brakes ever fitted to a road car. So it's safe as well. However, there's no getting around the fact that I'm currently driving on snow and ice in a car that has 641 horsepowers rampaging around underneath its bonnet. Which means that actually it's not that safe at all. Oh God above. Concentrating. Twitchy and it's scary. It's like I've been put in charge of all of the world's physics while I'm in a phone box full of wasps. Stop me alone! I'm doing time to grab a Stop! This car then, it sits right at the moment where excitement stops and terror begins. That is Lambo Land, that is. <laughs> Shit! So, the Urus looks and feels like a Lamborghini. It's also practical. The boot is massive. And inside, there's space for five six-footers. It's a nice place to be as well. And all that's great. But does it work off-road? Now, it's wearing these tyres, which have no studs in them, or spikes. And I'm wearing these, which are not delicate Italian driving shoes. Not sure this is going to go well. Problems actually get worse when you're in here because there's no manual locking differentials, there's no low range gearbox. All you can do is fire it up and then put the drive system into snow mode. Is, is that snow? Is Neve Latin for snow? Thank you, Molly, please. So, let's see if that works. Here we go. Mustn't hit a skier. Mustn't hit a skier. Oh, it's moving. Ha <laughs> ha. 
the £165,000 Lamborghini is driving up a ski slope. Those turbochargers may be a little bit annoying on the road, but here they're giving me the low-down torque that I need to get up this hill. And I've got an inclinometer, like you used to get in an old Mitsubishi Shogun. <laughs> This is actually quite impressive. It's just dropped down into first. <laughs> Hello, bewildered looking skiers. I cannot believe that this is a 2.4 ton car on normal road tires and it's doing this. Come on, come on, come on, you can do it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah. Yeah. I now can believe it's a 2.4 ton car on normal road tires because it's stuck. <laughs> no. Oh, right. So what we've established so far is that, yes, it is a Lamborghini. Feels exciting like a Lamborghini should. And um, <coughs> I meant this. And uh, it's good off-road as well, but just not quite as good as a Range Rover. <laughs>